Screencast-O-Matic is a handy tool for recording screenshots and sharing them with friends or colleagues for a number of different purposes. With just a few clicks, you can start recording your screen, and once you're satisfied with your video, you can upload it directly from the program. There are two tiers. You can record for free or register for the Pro account. The Pro account is $15 per year. The primary difference between the free and Pro account is the 15-minute time limit that is set on recordings. This occurs in a free account. With Pro Activation, there is no time limit. So let's begin. Open the software in a web browser. Google Chrome works best. Log in and or download the install if necessary. Once it's installed, select Start Recorder. The recorder will launch displaying the parameters which the screen is recording. You can drag the dotted edges to fit your entire screen or custom fit to record only what you choose. Within the recorder, there are several options to ensure your recording meets your preferences. First, the screen option. This allows you to record only the screen without the webcam, if you're using a webcam. The webcam option allows you to record only the webcam without recording your screen. If you choose to select both, the Screencast-O-Matic program will record your webcam and the screen, which is commonly seen in tutorials. The max time option sets a time limit on the recording. If you select any option other than no max, the recording would automatically conclude after the selected time limit. Recording size displays the size within the dotted lines that will be recorded. As a rule of thumb, 720p is typically ideal for screen recording as it provides the best clarity. The narration option is important. There's nothing like recording an entire tutorial and your voice was not captured. You can always tell if your voice is being recorded by the green bar flashing with each sound. For best audio, it is advisable to utilize an external USB headset with microphone attached. A headset microphone omits outside noise and reduces static. The computer audio option allows the program to select mouse clicks or sounds which come from the computer itself. Be careful with this option. If you select yes, keep in mind that the recording will pick up each mouse click even while you're narrating, which can be distracting for viewers. The preference window allows you the opportunity to choose hotkeys. Hotkeys are the same as keyboard shortcuts and useful for individuals who want to control the recording with their keyboard instead of the mouse. Countdown gives a three second countdown prior to the recording start and webcam preview provides you the option to show or hide your webcam while you're recording. The draw and zoom preferences allow you to select whether to use hotkeys or the keyboard to control the function and also if you prefer to use double mouse clicks instead of using the keyboard. Now that your preferences and options meet your needs, you can begin recording your screen by selecting the red REC button. While you're recording, be aware that Screencast-O-Matic places a yellow circle around your mouse. Therefore, be mindful of mouse movements and unnecessary functions. When you finish a recording, you'll automatically be taken to a preview screen where you can watch your recording and see what you think. If you're satisfied, there are several saving and publishing options listed along the right-hand side of the screen. For instance, you can upload your video directly to YouTube or to the Screencast-O-Matic website, or you can save it as a video file to your computer in either MP4, AVI, FLV, or GIF format. For this tutorial, I'll save it as an MP4 video file. Select the folder where you would like to save the file for retrieval, and if your cursor is not a major component in your tutorial, the Highlight Cursor option allows you to deselect the cursor highlight or even change the cursor's appearance. I saved the file to my desktop and kept the file name as recording number 7. Next, select Publish. The publishing time is dependent on the length of your recorded video. Lastly, once the publishing process is complete, you have the option to immediately play the video, browse the folder where it's saved, or copy the folder's path. If you opted to upload your video to Screencast-O-Matic, it will appear on your sign-in page. If you chose to save as an MP4, you can still find it in Screencast-O-Matic, but it's located within the Browse Recordings options. This concludes our review of Screencast-O-Matic functions. This is another tool to add to your creativity arsenal, onward and upward.